guys, how's everybody doing? It's Casey the Rockstar Flipper, and if you can't tell, we're home. We're back from the road trip from the wedding we drove to Baltimore for this weekend. Uh, we got in a little bit later today, uh, Monday, than we would have, but we came home. We packed up everything from the weekend. We got it shipped out with a little help from my mom, who went ahead and pulled all the orders, got all the items ready, um, so that when I came home, I just printed the labels, and Kate just packed them right in, and then bang right to the USPS so pretty smooth return everything is up to date I have responded to 90% of all my emails messages comments everything that you guys left I'm still got about 30 or 40 to go so if I haven't got to your message comment uh, or question please uh, bear with me through tomorrow and then if I don't get to you you can leave it again for sure um, of course we'll be taking questions for Q&A Friday all week uh, which I will answer directly and then I choose some to go in the live session on Friday that you guys can join. Uh, we'll be looking at like a 9, 9, 15 normal time. I know I was late this Friday, so thank you to everybody that watched the live Q&A Friday from the Baltimore Hotel Room. Uh, appreciate you guys, almost 100 of you, being up late with us. It was almost midnight. I think it went past midnight. So that was awesome. Thank you, guys. Uh, but we'll be back to normal time Friday. Uh, we'll have normal videos all week, and then Saturday there will be no video. We will be at Halloween Horror Nights uh, in Orlando, Universal Orlando, Saturday night, all night, and then we'll get back to another video on Sunday. So you get videos Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Q&A Friday, and then skip Saturday, go Sunday. So that's the schedule for this week. Thursday's night's video is going to be a live session on Steve Rakin, Rakin Profits channel. I will put Steve's channel down in the description box. If you do not follow Steve, make sure to go and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Turn on his notifications, and uh, I think we're shooting for Thursday night to be either 7 or 8 p.m. Uh, go over to Steve's channel, and you'll be able to see it when he puts up the notification that it's going live. It should already be there. I haven't checked yet. But uh, that's Thursday night's video. So tonight, Tuesday, and Wednesday are normal. Friday is normal Q&A at 9, at 9.15, and then Thursday is live with Steve Rakin on his channel. So uh, pretty exciting week for everybody lined up. It'll be awesome. It's going to be a great, great week. And Thursday's video with Steve is going to be all about Amazon, from buying to selling to returns to customer service to FBA to Alibaba, sourcing, express, everything. We're going to go top to bottom with Amazon. I know we're targeting an hour-long show, but I got a feeling it's going to go a lot longer because you guys have a ton of questions about Amazon, really good questions. So that's something that you guys, if you want to get in for Q&A Friday, is fine, but leave them for me uh, today and tomorrow and Wednesday, and it's something I can slide into the talk uh, with Steve uh, on Thursday. So really excited about this week, really excited to get through these videos and to get to Thursday, get to Friday. That's going to be a great two nights in a row for everybody here. Um, and last I want to do is uh, I want to thank everybody for the kind messages and comments and, and everything that we got, the emails, uh, wishing us safe travels and, and making sure that we got back okay, everything went smooth, no problems. It rained a little bit. The weather was a little crappy, but nothing we couldn't get through. The wedding was an outdoor venue. Uh, they had a backup indoor venue. We did it inside. It was beautiful. It was awesome. Uh, I don't believe that Jenna and her husband watch my channel, but I'll make sure to link this video to them. So congratulations, Jenna and Kyle. Uh, they are now currently in Key West for their honeymoon. They flew from Baltimore to Miami this morning and drove into Key West. Uh, the hurricane is bearing down on us, so uh, we're hoping and praying it, it curves out. Uh, to the ocean, but please keep them in your prayers, and uh, I'm going to cross my fingers for you guys uh, that that storm doesn't hit you guys. So Jenna, Kyle, if you watch this, stay safe, stay dry, and enjoy Key West. We're not going to come crash your party. Uh, one, I don't want to crash a honeymoon, and two, I don't want to get wet and rained on, so uh, we'll keep an eye on that hurricane. Um, but let's jump into tonight's video. I'm going to keep this one quick because I'm exhausted, driving sucked. Um, it was a fun trip, but it was very, very tiring, long 15 hour drive. So, um, let's jump into tonight's video. We'll get this up for you as early as possible. And, uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night with a longer video. I promise. Okay. So for tonight's video, since I'm keeping it short, I'm just going to jump on an item that a lot of you are interested in. It seems like a lot of you have, um, access to a lot of these, uh, and that it's something most of you don't do. In fact, one of the items, uh, is part of my, uh, frequently asked questions that Kate is currently building. We're going to get that up by this weekend. Um, I promised that after we got back from the trip. So we're going to have a frequently asked questions 
um, section put up so that you guys can check on those all the time and so that new viewers will be able to see it. Uh, hopefully it'll cut down on a lot of the repeat questions that I get because I do spend a lot of time answering the same questions over and over again. I'm fine with it, but if it can help cut my time, that's awesome. Uh, and that question is how do we wash plush and stuffed animals? Um, and I'll show you one I have right here. Uh, this little guy. This is the Carnival Cruise guy. Uh, his name is Funship Freddy. Funship Freddy. It'll zoom in on that. Okay, so Freddy was a quarter. Uh, got Freddy at the bin store. He doesn't weigh anything. I weighed him, did the math. He was a quarter. Uh, Freddy currently has a best offer of $9. I'm going to accept Freddy's best offer of $9 tonight when I climb in bed. Uh, after f the $2.60 to ship Freddy, which will leave me um, $6.60. After Freddy's fee of around 70 cents, that will leave us um, uh, a little shy of uh, what? What are we going to be at? Uh, so we'll be at we'll be at six six forty right after the shipping. Yeah, six forty, and then we'll be at five forty. We'll be at about five dollars and sixty cents uh, on Freddy net after uh, the fee, and then after the PayPal fee, we'll be right around five dollars. But we paid a quarter for Freddy, so four seventy five. It's not bad. I mean, four seventy-five and a quarter. It's not, you know, going to retire on that money, but why not? Um, so a lot of people asked, how does the lady that I know uh, do ten thousand dollars? I have not seen her since you guys asked. Uh, I will see her next week at, or this week at the Ben store. So I will ask her if she wants to reveal her eBay store. I know her eBay store. I'm not comfortable giving it out without her permission. So I'm going to ask her, and if she's okay with it, I'll let you guys check out her eBay store. If not, I will at the very least get some. Um, some screenshots from some of her sold items so you guys can see. Uh, with that being said, this is all she sells. She raids the bin stores of stuffed animals. She raids thrift stores. That She goes right for those sections. Her whole day is spent making a circle. This lady buys like 100 stuffed animals a day. But her average cost of goods, and she's told me, is around 50 cents. So she's only spending 50 bucks a day. The woman only spends three or $400 a week after she goes to garage and yard sales and picks up stuffed animals. She has advertisements and business cards as the stuffed animal lady. I kid you not. So this lady is average selling a stuffed animal at $10. She sells a thousand items a month, 250 items a week. She's literally shipping out 30 to 40 items a day. It's incredible. She has thousands of items in her eBay store. She has built her eBay store up to two or 3000 stuffed animals. So it's very, very easy. She sells some for $20, some for $15, some for $10. All of her cost is nothing, though. So remember, for average price, sale is $10. She's selling $1,000. She's doing $10,000. Her cost on 1,000 items is $500. That means after cost of goods, she's profiting $9,500. And after her fees, her eBay fees are 8% from discount, plus her PayPal, she's at 11%, plus shipping. She's at about 20% cost on the ten grand. So two off of 95 Fees, shipping, and cost of goods out the door, she's at a $7,500 profit each and every month. She tells me it's probably closer to 65 to 7 That's a really good living for an older retired lady sitting at home. Six to $7,000 is, is, is $80,000 a year in stuffed animals. Now, it's taken her several years to build her eBay store. But I'm not saying you're going to go out and sell $10,000 in stuffed animals tomorrow or next month or next year for that matter. But it's something to think about to start picking up stuffed animals when you see them and they can supplement your income by $500, $1,000 a month. Who knows? Maybe you can make a couple thousand dollars a year or a month off of these guys. Stuffed animals are great. This is a guy I'm going to sell. I'll show you guys a few more. Um, but the frequently asked question is how we wash them. So we always do, like on this guy, he's pretty clean. Um, you can just take a magic eraser if he's got a little, like if he had a little spot there, you could just magic erase it off. You can take the little cleaner pads. Any of that stuff is really good to clean these guys. You can hand wash them with soap, get get the dirt out, you know, dry them. Uh, a lot of people, if they don't smell, this guy smells fine, but if they didn't smell good, they'll put them in a bag, one of those scented trash bags that smell really good. They'll pile the stuffed animals in there. They'll put one of those um, those smelly dryer sheets inside of the smelly trash bags seal them up for a couple nights and they're as good as new i mean you know don't buy a stuffed animal that's mildewed or dirt all over the place just let that one go but if you get one that's in great shape that might have a little mark or two that's all we're talking about guys pick it up make sure to clean them up good before they ship out and they're so easy to ship and take pictures of you just click you know let's see if i can get them both in the thing there we go click click three pictures you know maybe one of the tag Bang, you throw up Freddy, Funship Freddy's nine bucks, he's out the door. 
same story on Cheerleader. Cheerleader Minnie Mouse here. Bought her for like a quarter. She still has the toy factory from the Disney right on her. She's up, and I just got an offer. I put her up for $14.99. She's listed right now for $15. I got an offer tonight for $11. I'm going to take this offer as well. Two of them out the door. Bang. Minnie's going to net me around 7 bucks. Paid like 50 cents for her. This is one I got. I sold this before. You guys have seen me list this one before. I sold the last one for 20 I bought this for $2. Two bucks. Stole it. I saw it in the bottom of a bin. Yanked it out of there. Two bucks. She'll sell for 20 She does weigh over a pound. She will cost 6 bucks to ship. She will cost me $3 in fees. She will be $10. I will net 10 on her, but I paid 2 for her. Maybe 3 out of the bin store. That's a quick $7, $8 profit. Love the My Little Pony. Love it, love it, love it. It's official. It's Build-A-Bear. It sells quick. Not going to let her pass. One of my favorites. I've probably sold four or five of these in the last few months. Look at this. Hollywood Hawk Hogan. It's the Wrestle Buddy. Kids love these things. Bought him for two, maybe $3 out of the Ben store. He weighs a couple pounds. It'll be 6 bucks to ship. He's probably 2 bucks cost. $8 plus fees, 10 we're going to list him for $25. The last one I sold went for $20. Uh, I think it was the Ultimate Warrior, I think, was the last one I sold. I know. You guys probably saw it in the other video. But twenty. let's say he goes for $20. Again, I'm going to net, you know, $10. Bucks, paid $2, $3 for him. These stuffed animals really add up, guys. I used to pass them all the time. I don't sell $10,000 in stuffed animals. I probably sell, on average, $20 or $30 a month at, at, at $6, $7 profit. So I'm probably only making, you know, 200 bucks a month off stuffed animals this 200 dollars i didn't have they're so easy i don't focus on them i hardly buy them just because i'm working on clothes and other stuff but if you know this lady made her life her her goal to buy every stuffed animal she could buy and some of them sell for garbage some of them you know she sold a vintage curious george it's from like the 1970s she sold i think for 85 dollars. she bought it for like 50 cents at a yard sale just like we score on clothes and dresses and, and other stuff, she scores on stuffed animals. Some people, you know, collect those things. She sold that. She's the one um, that I told you about that sold the smaller Lion King, the Douglas toys, for like $100. She paid like 3 bucks. I got one for 3 bucks. I sold for $200. I learned it from Bonafide's videos. But there's tons of opportunity in stuffed animals. So don't let any of those stuffed animals that you think might be worth 10 or more dollars to go past. They're so cheap. You know, Hawk Hogan, Fun Ship Freddy, these guys... They'll sell all day. It's quick, lightweight, won't get broken in shipping, easy to find, easy to source item that if you really wanted to, you could go out and buy 10 or 15 of these a day and just build up your store inventory. Remember, you're not going to start selling 50 of these a day overnight, but slowly just build your store inventory up and you'll be surprised. Fun Shift Freddy's been here for several weeks. All of a sudden, he just he sells. He's not taking up any extra space. He's not taking up any extra weight. He's not really in the way. I pile them in a corner. They're fine. Uh, they're easy to store. They're easy to find and ship. You know, they didn't really cost me anything. All my stuffed animals combined, I probably have 50 bucks a cost in. And every time one sells, I'm making 6 7 $8 profit. First five or six that sell, you know, the cost is covered. So we're good. I mean... It's just one more of those items to add to your lookout list. You know, don't rely on it to make your bills or your paycheck, but build the list up. You know, that woman that sells 10000 a month in stuffed animals, she is, uh, you know, that was her, her thing. Instead of clothes, she bought stuffed animals. She's an exception to the rule. You certainly could duplicate what she's doing, but it would take a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of money to build that inventory up. Remember, even though she's got a few thousand items, she's got 50 cents each in them. So over time, it hasn't cost her anything, but... If you were to go out right away and try to do it, it, it would cost you a little bit. So um, just something else to keep an eye out and remember, guys. So stuffed animals are a really great item. Um, I think I'm going to use this as a thumbnail. Hollywood Hawk Hogan is a thumbnail. Ah, we'll get get Hogan in there. Ah, right there. That's our thumbnail. Right, Hogan? Right, Hollywood? Yeah. Sell stuffed animals, guys. Make some extra money. We'll be back tomorrow with a longer video. Remember Thursday with Steve Rakin live. I'll get you guys a time in tomorrow's video. I'll put it on social media. And on Friday, Q&A Friday, put the questions, put your comments, put everything you want to know down in the description, down in the comments, on social media, wherever you want to send them. Email them, message them, drop them on my front door via Stork. However you got to get them to me, get them to me, and I'll get them answered for everybody. On Friday, with Kate joining me. She's sleeping. I should be quiet. All right, guys. You know what to do. Subscribe to this channel if you love my videos. Like this video so I know you like this video and it helps out. And we will see you guys again tomorrow thanks everybody for all your kind words comments during the road trip 
Great to be back. Great to be with you guys again. Great to be making videos. And I'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday as early as possible. Have a wonderful night.